Hi, hello, and welcome back to Kelo Dimag Se, presented to you by Dream Eleven. Uh, I've been having a really, really good run in the fantasy segment. I've been winning more than uh, losing, and honestly, I think it's the time. And although the idea of picking a team, I've been consistently doing so. But today, I'll be covering the game between Lucknow Super Giants and SRH. Uh, Sunrisers Hyderabad have gone and travelled to Lucknow, and they'll be playing at Lucknow. Uh, the ground is the ground and conditions were really, really hostile. Uh, to a large extent, for most uh, for the batting team, which was Delhi in the last occasion at Lucknow, the Ekana Cricket Stadium has provided a few tricky wickets uh, recently. India and uh, New Zealand played a series decided where the ball spun from. Uh, I mean, ball spun square from ball one, and uh, obviously Hardik also made a made a statement about the pitch not being uh, ideal. Uh, and the first game of the IPL opened with an absolute. Uh, steamer. I mean, it was really quick, going up and down, bit of seam movement, good solid bounce. The odd ball spun. Aksar Patel's ball spun big and got Kyle Myers out. And uh, when you speak about Lucknow Super Giants, Lucknow Kyle Myers has been in red hot form. And uh, Quinton Dika has also Quinton Dika has also joined the squad. So how how will my fantasy team look for this particular game? Uh, look, SRH have all bases covered in terms of their fast bowling. They can match Lucknow. Um, Heel to heel, toe to toe, with respect to fast bowling, they've got Umran Malik, who's got a lot of wheels. Uh, will Lucknow actually play on a slightly turning surface, which I think is a? They do have uh, Ravi Bishnoi, but it's unlikely. I think they will maintain the same because it gave Mark Wood a lot of uh, impetus. So, what sort of a team am I picking? I'm I'm picking pretty stock standard stuff, uh, stock standard players from both sides. Just my bowling combination. I've gone a little bowling heavy. Uh, I've got four bowlers. My combination is one keeper, four batters, two all rounders, and four bowl uh, four bowlers. I've gone with six people from SRH and five from Lucknow. Does it mean that uh, uh, SRH will end up winning the game? No, I'm just looking at points. I'm picking the best possible fantasy team that I can. Uh, so my team uh, starts uh, with a keeper, which is Quinton Decock. Quinton Decock walks into the team. Kyle Myers is already there. KL Rahul is already there. Will they play all three of them? I think they will. The way Kyle Myers has been has been hitting the ball, I think they'll try and slot KL Rahul or Kyle Myers or Quinton Decock at another place, and they will go with Quinton. Uh, Quinton, Quinton's a class player. He gave them a lot of stability last year. Uh, he also is a left-handed option, considering that SRH's lonely spinner could be Adil Rashid. And Aiden Makram's return, which means he will be a sort of an off-spinning option for SRH. Uh, so, all in all, I think it's a decent stock standard team that I'm looking to pick. I've gone with Quinton Decock. Uh, Quinton Decock is, is a bank, uh, expecting that he'll play. In case he doesn't, then I will probably swap him with Glenn Phillips. Who's on the SRH side, but but as of now, Quinton Decock is my keeper. The four batters are Mayank Agarwal, KL Rahul, Rahul Tripathi, and Harry Brook. Uh, KL Rahul, yes, in the first two games, uh, he he might have not fetched you a lot of points with respect to fantasy, but he is he is perennially your highest run getter in an IPL season, and luck. Lucknow will look to build around him, just like some of the other teams, where one person anchors and plays through and tries and gets the volume of runs. I think KL Rahul will continue doing that. On this pitch, on this ground, which is slightly bigger, Lucknow will need someone like KL to just play long and hard. And obviously, the others will go after the bowling. So, KL Rahul is my captain for the day as well. Uh, Mayank Agarwal, his uh, opening partner at Kings, uh, for a very long time, they've shared the dressing room together, open together. Uh, KL will know Mayank inside out. Mayank has had a change of teams, has gone from Punjab Kings to SRH. Uh, he's He got a 100 in the practice game for SRH. Uh, he's been batting really well, got a double 100 in the semi-final of the Ranji Trophy. Uh, yeah, so Mayank has been in red hot form and he's looking fitter and fresher. So, I think Mayank Agarwal will be a run bank. Uh, the other two batters are Harry Brook and Rahul Tripathi. Harry Brook is that... Big buy for SRH has been in red hot form in international cricket. I expect him to do well with a bit of pace and bounce. His only nemesis on that party on this particular day has to be Ravi Bishnoi. If he can look after Ravi Bishnoi, the rest of the bowling will sort of fall into his wheels. Uh, Rahul Tripathi is the other batter has been playing with a lot of intent. Is the next gen T20 batter from India. Uh, leaves no stone unturned. It's attack from ball once on Rahul Tripathi. If he can flip the momentum towards SRH and put pressure on Lucknow bowlers. He will get off to a really good start. And once he gets off to a good start, it's very difficult to stop him. I have two all-rounders for the day. Uh, first one is Kyle Myers from Lucknow. I don't have to talk much about Kyle Myers. Has been in cracking form. Uh, played really well against Chennai in Chennai. Got a phenomenal uh, knock-in at Lucknow on the tough wicket against Delhi Capitals. So, both of them are there. Neither of them are my vice-captains for the day. Uh, now that I've named my captain, vice-captain is the only one left. My vice-captain for the day comes from the bowlers segment. I've got four bowlers. Bhuvneshwar Kumar will set the tone up front. can swing the ball. Uh, might 
might be a handful and he also bowls at the death so i think i'm going with bhuvneshwar kumar uh, ravi bishnoi as i said could be a nemesis for some of the batters in uh, in the SRH team uh, because they've got a heavily foreign middle order which is Glenn Phillips, Markram and also, uh, you know, uh, Harry Brook. So, Ravi Bishnoi is right in the game. Mark Wood and Umran Malik are the other two bowlers. Very similar, hit the deck really quick, try and make the play through the middle overs. One over for Mark Wood uh, at, in the power play and the rest at the death. Two overs to set up the, uh, set up the play in the middle overs. So, they're very pretty similar and deployment of their bowling is very similar to each other. Umran Malik will come and whack it, whack it in hard. He's got pace and bounce on this pitch. He's got a, has got a big square boundary, so I expect him to do as do well as well. So my vice captain of the day is Mark Wood. Uh, I've gone with captain and vice captain from the same team. Again, doesn't indicate because SRH has got six players and five from Lucknow, so it doesn't indicate who's winning. But clearly, this is my team. I'll wrap it up once more. Four batters, four bowlers, two all-rounders, and a keeper form my fantasy team for the day. Uh, the keeper is Quinton Decock. Four batters are Mayan Kagarwal, KL Rahul, Harry Brook, and Rahul Tripathi. Uh, Aiden Markram and Kyle Myers are my two all-rounders for the day. Bhuvneshwar Kumar, Mark Wood, Ravi Bishnoi and Umran Malik form my four bowlers. Uh, the captain for the day is KL Rahul. Vice-captain uh, for the day is Mark Wood. And that's my fantasy team for Kilo Dimagse presented, presented to you by Dream11 today. Uh, yeah, so those are my uh, little tidbits and inputs for the day. I've, I've been having a good day, uh, good time at fan, uh, with the fantasy teams. So hopefully you can use all these in, uh, inputs and make your good team and hopefully you win. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode.